Hi, my name is Kippy Flanders. I am the owner and director of the I Level Learning Center in Alpharetta, Georgia. We also have another center in Johns Creek, Georgia. Um, we, I say we a lot because our operation is unique in that in the respect that we do it as a family. My husband and I are um, always at the Alpharetta location. My son is the uh, director and manager of the Johns Creek location, so it's a family affair. Uh, we The Alpharetta location has been open for 11 years now. It's been open for quite some time. And the uh, uh, Johns Creek location we opened in 2011, so it's been open for six years. So we have very successful operations in both places, and we're very proud of them. My background is in early childhood education. I taught kindergarten and pre-K, so my passion is working with little ones. Uh, my husband's background was in pharmaceutical sales and management, so he has quite an extensive business background, so it made a very good fit for working with eye level. At the time, we were operating our own business focused on STEM education, which my husband and my son had developed. And we were interested in a learning franchise that would uh, offer some math that would complement what they were doing there. Uh, when we found iLevel, it was just what we were looking for. It had a wonderful basic skills math program, but the thing, the catalyst for us signing up to for this program over the other things that were on the market was the critical thinking math. Uh, the critical thinking math would, would open up so many different avenues and doors and ways for children to think about math, helping them working with the problem solving that was involved in the STEM program. And so we eventually found that um, uh, the math program started selling out over our STEM program and it took over. So we went with uh, eye level math and reading and we've been with that ever since. So it's been a great fit. Eye level competes very well with a host of other franchised and individually owned education programs in our area. Of late, there's been a proliferation of new eye level centers around our area that has really hoped, I mean, it really helped with the brand awareness. Um, we love the systematic approach to learning that eye level offers these children, uh, especially with the basic skills math. I think it's wonderful because it builds a foundation for their math, pro or their math success. Uh, math is like building a wall. Every section of the wall has to be strong because if you put harder things on top and the lower sections are weak, it will crumble. So we really stress that the children need to master a level before we move on to the next one. Uh, the critical thinking math is um, just the, the biggest differentiator between us and other uh, franchises that are around, that are offered in our area. Uh, so that's always a big selling point. Uh, that really helps the children to use that other side of their brain to think creatively, to work on problem solving skills. Uh, it's just wonderful to offer a program to offer for them. Uh, we've also heard from the parents that uh, that's been one of the little factors that helps to get them in the tag programs at school because they have to know how to do the creative thinking. So um, critical thinking is wonderful. Uh, the the new English program we've been real thrilled with. Uh, it's uh, a whole language arts program that uh, offers everything that the children need and it even offers the writing component now which is something that was lacking a, a while back even for the younger children they they do that and start working on their writing skills which has become a, a really important thing at the schools so we've been um, really very for very fortunate to have the eye level program and have that to work with because they've done a very good job with it um, eye level also is a good program to customize for each child because each child has their own individual needs. They may need extra help with their comprehension skills. They might need extra help with one week with apostrophes. You know, so it was things that you can work with individually with each child to make it just right for them. We were very fortunate to have such a good staff and a good staff that has been here for a very long time. Uh, one other thing that we do here at our site that makes us a little bit different, and I think that sets us a step above, is uh, we offer parental feedback to the parents at the end of each class. We walk the children out to their parent and tell them things that they have done in the class that day and what we've accomplished and what we're working on for homework. And it gives the parents really good instant feedback on how their child is doing and if they have any concerns or something that they noticed at school that their child is 
having a hard time with, we make a note of that on their chart and work on it the next time. So the parents really appreciate that. And so it's a, a big team effort around here between our teachers and our parents and the students and, and Joe and I. You know, we work very hard to make this place a, a, a big success. My husband and I have split duties. He focuses on the sales and the customer service, billing, collections, marketing, business planning, uh, eye level reporting, all of the business things, emails, all those kind of things are things that my husband takes care of. I, on the other hand, work in the classroom. So I work with our instructors to help with classroom flow and organization. I help to train them to make sure we're doing things just right with the students. Uh, I also talk, I'm the ongoing customer service person, so I talk to parents about issues that might have come up with their child or certain things that they'd like for us to help their child with. Uh, and I also help do the um, inventory control and uh, ske session scheduling. So there's a lot of setup and planning to do for the next day. So there's just a lot of things that go on here. So I'm glad to have my husband doing one side of it so I can do the other. So it's not a, a big problem for either one of us. Uh, managing an eye level business at the highest level is a full-time job. And it is especially that way uh, with a multi-unit owner. Uh, there's always much to do outside and uh, the operating hours, so although we're only open from 3.30 until 7 each day, uh, it really, and, and from 9 to, t to 2 on Saturdays, it really, there's a lot of things that go on outside those hours that take a little extra time. So um, uh, if you're planning to get into this as a franchisee, it's, it's helpful to know that you need to do a little extra homework to make your business a success. Uh, our workflow tends to be relatively consistent throughout the month. Monthly billing and collection and various company deadlines increase the workload a few days a month. But for the most part, every day is pretty much the same. It's planning ahead, getting things set up for the next day, making sure everything runs smoothly while you're there, answering phone calls and emails. So there's a lot to do, but it's a very rewarding job. Um, it has been very helpful that my husband and I uh, both entered this business with some key skill sets, and I have um, my teaching background and him with his business background uh, has helped us, and, and it's gone a long way with um, helping us make our business a success. The I-Level programs, primarily math at the start, really exploded during the first five months of operation here. And within the first full year of operation, most of the customers that came to our program signed up for math, but we have found that in this area there's a big influx of people moving in from out of the country, so the English program really took hold because there was a big need for that. So um, we um, really have had a lot of growth and success in both the math and the English programs here in our area. We opened our first center in 2006, so we've been open here for 11 years. About six years later, we saw that there was a tremendous need for another uh, center close by because we were the, the area here was expanding growth very rapidly, so we decided to open the other center, and our son had been working here with us, and so we moved him over to the Johns Creek location so that he could run that one for us, and he has a degree in business, so it was a great fit for him, too, so we have uh, had plenty of children at both centers. <laughs> Owning an eye level has been very rewarding. Uh, it's, it's so nice to see how many people, children, uh, adults, the, their, the families that we've helped over the years, and know that, that our presence here and the program has really helped them to succeed in school and to be better students and hopefully when they grow up to be better people. So that I'm really glad to be a part of that. feel that we've helped thousands of students in our 11 years of eye level. We have particular things that, that really stand out to me though. Um, just last week we had a little boy that came in, a third grader, and he was so excited to come in when I was signing him in to let us know that he had made the academic competition team at his school and he was really excited because he was going to get to stay after school on certain days of the week and go compete. And, and he really was so sweet to say thank you 
to us for helping him get to that point. So that is just in itself very rewarding. Um, one of the other things that just happened just like a couple of nights ago my husband and I were getting ready to close up it was about eight o'clock and we were our lights were still on, on here in the office and we heard a, no a knock at the outside door and we looked up and it was the grandmother of the first student that we ever signed up and this child was not the typical student he was having a really hard time in his math in his reading with English, with everything at the time. His parents were not giving him the support that he needed. They thought that he needed to be on Ritalin and different things, you know, to help him to be able to focus. Well, the grandmother did not believe that. So she signed him up for eye level back when he was very young, and she kept him here at our program for many years and supported him all the, that time. Uh, he went through many stages at eye level with many different teachers. We all... Uh, worked with him as he grew and progressed, and um, when he got to be high school level, he, of course, quit and moved on, but um, uh, she came by. The reason why she came by is because she had a transcript of his grades, and he has now uh, high B and A grades, A, B grades, and he is getting ready to graduate from high school this coming spring, and he's planning to go to college, and he's going to be a veterinarian. That's what his hope is, and so I really hope that he gets what he is trying to achieve, and I, we're just so proud of him. It just made my heart feel so good when I heard that story and uh, heard of his success and how much his grandmother appreciated us because she really attributed uh, his success to the help that she had gotten here at eye level through the program and through his teachers. So it was a great success story. Something else that has made this job very rewarding to us is to see little familiar faces coming through the door, but they're older. And they have been former students that have grown up, and now they're high school age or college age, and they want to work with us. They want to be graders. They not they can't be a teacher with us, but they can help grade, and they want to work here. So that's always fun, because then we can hear all of the the things that they have done and all of their success stories and, and know that they still think enough of us to come back and want to work here. So that's that's always a fun thing and very rewarding for us as well. Unfortunately, there's a lot of progress needed in this area to meet the needs of our children. I level provides a supplemental education that they need to help them compete in this rapidly changing world. After 11 years in business, we get the occasional message from former students that now attend some of the most prestigious colleges and universities around. And I truly believe that we have had a small impact in helping their very bright futures. We routinely uh, sign up siblings of current and past students, and their parents are more than happy to trust us to start their younger children on a journey through their, for their education through eye level. I would definitely recommend eye level as a franchise if someone was interested in starting one. Um, the, above all, though, the thing that you would really need to have that I would suggest is to make sure that you have a passion for teaching. You really love working with children, and uh, you have the... Um, the persistence to run a business because it does take a lot of time and effort to make it successful. Uh, teaching children is my passion so that's what really helped me. Um, I hope to instill that passion and love into the children that I teach. The enthusiasm and praise and positive reinforcement that I give to the students I, I believe are the key to making learning fun and if you can make learning fun that's half the battle so you just have to make it fun and then they'll want to come, they'll want to learn, and they do well. Um, also, when they come here, I'm, I make it a point to make every child feel special. I want them to know that I really appreciate that they're here. As they come in the door, I, I know everybody by name, so I say their name, hi, how are you doing, how was your day today? And uh, just let them talk to me for just a second and let me know what's going on in their little lives. And, and they really appreciate that, knowing that they have more than just a teacher here that's signing them in. They have a friend and that somebody that cares, that hopes that they succeed and really wants them to do well. So um, all of our teachers are that way too. It's not just me, but that's something I always make a point of doing because I really think it's important to make everybody feel special. In my opinion, I think that the self-directed learning aspect of 
of eye level is one of the most important things that we th teach the children because it helps them be more independent. They learn how to read directions and how to think on their own rather than relying on somebody else to solve the problems for them all the time. And I think that that is something that can help them later in life as well instead of waiting for somebody else to tell them what to do. They can come up with the ideas and they can solve the problems. So I think it's very a very good way to help the children be very successful in their lives.